What's up FireFam and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today we're going to be looking a bit more into the test life version and seeing about this taming here. So as I covered in the last video I did like a brief sort of oh you could pick up a rhino you know pretty cool but um you see all these pens here you would have think like the animal goes in them right? I was kind of hoping uh when they tame out, they'll be in the pen, maybe? I don't know. But like, here you go, they eat lots of different foods, like, uh, you'll get rock nose babies and stuff like that, pebble nose. They will want to eat certain things like, uh, rocks and crystals. That's what they like, and then you have spider babies, they like blood and, uh, flesh, abyssal flesh, I think. Which you can get from the, uh, weird potato looking thing in the starter dungeon. <laughs> Dreg, there we go. Dredges or whatever. Uh, you have the rhino that will take things like fibre, you know, vegetation. It, it's pretty simple. You just got to think of uh, what sort of things they would go for. And the bird. Of course, they're going to take quite a bit of a while on normal rates to tame out. But they've got really good stats and stuff. But that's how you're going to want to tame them. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up a wild cub. Let me go out and uh, show you, actually. So what you want to do here, you see there's a baby rhino right there. You just want to click E on it. Although I wanted to test this lore out as well to see what it does. Uh, not that fun. Key. Right one, right. Uh... Uh... That ain't working yet, obviously. So what you want to do, you want to just click E on it, goes into your inventory, easy clap. Uh, I guess the laws of distraction. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, that was a bit random. Uh, <laughs> Alright. So yeah, you get a baby from the wild, you click E on your taming pen, doesn't matter which one it is, and then you just pop it up here, like, like so. And it will start crafting the rhino. And that's nice. So it'll take its sweet time. And once it's done, it'll pop out. You like that? Is that the right one? Yeah. You know, I'm kind of confused uh, what's going on here. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh my god, oh my god. Let me check. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rhino Boss. Hi. There you go. Rhino Law. <laughs> Are you serious? No. It affects bosses too? What the hell? Wait, no. Is he eating it? You want to be my pet? I'm holding E on him and I'm getting a thunky noise. Wait. Oh my god, yeah, as well, I forgot the uh, corpses they have now. There's wild corpses. So apparently this affects bosses as well, uh... So, I placed down a bunch of laws by this elephant and now I'm gonna see if it keeps it distracted by a hit from far. Or if it will go for me. Drive by stealing. Oh, oh my god, did it just. It just ran over its own kid. What the hell? Alright. It looks like none of the baby animals are safe from the adults. Drive by steal. <laughs> yeah. Drive by, 
Steel. <laughs> All right, so the laws would work for a really nice sort of trap idea, you know? That's what I'm thinking. So let me see, I'm gonna build something and I'll be back with you. Ah, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Get the boss in a peg. Step two. <laughs> it closes the pen. Step three. Climb up the thingy. And just... Uh, don't bother with ladders. Step four. Shoot it in the barn. Or you can go an additional step. You can go an additional step. Get one of these. Give it some of those. You don't really need the extra. <laughs> this is so buggy. So you can make use of the laws and uh, confuse the hell out of the AI. Just stick a few outside. Our boss man will stay pretty chill. All you need to do to trigger your frauds is uh, get hit. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, rid of this, put myself a demigod. That should probably work. And I get hit. Oi, hit me. But then what you want to do, once you've got this kind of cage, you want one lower just to trigger and the rest should trigger, but they're usually better on a free high foundation. Because they can just see so much more. And then you can also have the option of a gas rule. So if you haven't seen the Avatar of the God yet, he's also really cool, so we're gonna summon him. <laughs> we are summoning. Here he comes. He's glorious. He's come from the grove. He's come to be badass. That's his attack. I'm kind of sad he doesn't have a uh, manticore tail swing attack. But yeah, this guy is absolutely nuts. Uh, for all you PvPers out there, I guess this is kind of game changing because he. Uh, all the high bases that Yogg kind of could have kind of got up to, but couldn't really. Well, this guy can get up to any point on the map, so if you have a base up high and someone has this religion, well, um, damn. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> this guy is badass. Well, the only problem is when you elevate him, he's very hard to de-elevate. And that's our god. He's pretty sweet. I like him. I think they did pretty awesome in this patch, uh, not gonna lie. We have the god, the grove. I really look forward to the grove and how interesting it'll be. What I'm hoping for the grove is they will stick T4 armorers and frills a bit more in there, maybe. But then they are protected by, you know, said creatures that make it really hard to get. But that would be really nice because, uh, you know, you get quite a few of the armorers in the game. You kind of need them for flawless gear, for like reptile gear. And they are actually tethered to like really rare spawn chances. They are like less than a zero like 0 0.1 chance to get and they are in very specific spots with uh, you know lucky dip spawners really and it kind of makes it silly because uh, unofficial you're not really gonna get a chance to get one of these frauds unless you're insanely lucky 
And they're most likely going to be killed by accident or by some creature, to be honest. Uh, if they do end up spawning, it's like a one in a million chance. So, it would be nice if they'd stick some nice T4 or legendary falls in there, because we know the purge doesn't always work for things like that, and it's very rare that it does work uh, for falls like that. And it would be wonderful, because then it would be like a harder way to get it. If they could work out a way like that, maybe they could have a thrall trap or something. And you do it that way, I don't know. <laughs> but it would be nice to have something, uh, some more innovative stuff like that. But anyway, thank you for watching, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!